Hey everyone, it's your girl, Hey Planner Girl. Hey, welcome back to a new video. And today I'm going to show you my March 2023 Hobonichi A6 Cousin Flipped. So grab a snack, come on back, and I will show you what's inside. <laughs> well, hello, how are you? There's a lot of color going on today. I know, wowzers, it's pretty intense. Let's make it even more intense. I got this ring. It says, hug me. <laughs> um, I painted a bonbon on my <laughs> on my ring finger. I know. But my camera's not focusing. Okay, there we go. So this is my Hobonichi A5 cousin. And it's getting pretty chunky. I'm definitely going to get the Avec next year. I'm hoping to stick with this this year. So as usual, I'll go through the planner. Um, here is my holographic washi background. Um, I just have a sticker here from uh, Bianca, um, who's my very cool planner friend. You can check out her videos. I'll leave her link below. And just some like really fun stuff here is my intro pages and i'm gonna tell you right now everything is pretty much from shine sticker studio honeybee shop pipstick stickers michael's um sticky club and happy scrappy and yeah that's pretty much it i always do this i should always cover this <laughs> Sorry, it's for the birthdays of my uh, family. So over here is Coffee Monsters Co. It is the year at a glance. If you join their Facebook group, you can definitely download this as a freebie. My birthday list here, which is always oh so fun. And then here is my dictionary word of the day. Again, been slacking. Um, I don't know, just been slacking. <laughs> no real reason why. Um, so I have to fill up the end of March, but that's okay. And then here are my month at a glance. I like to show the month. So here is December. I had this very cool like pastel pink purple winter vibe. And then January was my birthday month. So a lot of Shine Sticker Studio, lots of kind of fun birthday, I don't know, pink and holographic themes and things like that. So that was super fun. February is was Valentine's Day, so there's a lot of Shine Sticker Studio. I love this whole kit with the bears. Oh, what a dream. And here is my March. So my March was uh, obviously dedicated to like St. Patrick's Day. Uh, not that we do anything really for St. Patrick's Day, but I just like the green and the spring and, you know, lots of different things happening like daylight savings and springtime. So that's that. And I haven't even really decorated my April, so there isn't really a sneak peek. And I'm filming this on April the 1st, so I am slacking. So I might do this today, which is a Saturday. And then my favorite thing has been just journaling in the week at a glance and this is just super fun to me and again I've been really slacking on the week that has just passed what I've done um is ignore the like you know whoever it is but I use a card and then I write on top of it just to keep everything a little bit more neater um the reason why and I have a good excuse the reason why I have been slacking is I have been extremely addicted to I'm gonna do a video on my channel to um budget binders so uh, my focus this week that has just passed was just to organize this stuff and so I think that's what I was caught up on so that's pretty much what's been going on so I have to definitely catch up on this today because you know I don't want to keep it off and I've been doing so good like I love this stuff I love journaling every day so I know what to do because let's get to it here is the March flip love everything I did a plan with me what a joy it was <laughs> and I can go back to my week at a glance because I have the pages filled in so that's what's up okay so I will try my best to kind of like talk about things but I don't 
really like I'll have to kind of peruse it really quickly um, I'm just gonna share how I do my layout I have like what I watch some like what I did and maybe any quotes or stickers or stuff like that as the weeks go by you can see like I found sort of like my own little you know niche of what I like and every Every day is so fun because I can change up the layout and that's what I love about these daily pages. It's just my jam. Like this is just so fun to me. So Wednesday, which was the 1st of March, um, I've, oh my gosh, I've been shopping on Poshmark and Amazon like crazy. So that's pretty much what's been happening. Um, had an appointment and stuff wasn't really happy and then um saturday these stickers oh my gosh they are from little magic prince i was part of her patreon patron um for i think a month or two so i was able to download some of her stickers and they were so cute and that was awesome I love these Care Bear stickers. They're adorable. And then these are Pipstick stickers. Basically just talking about like going places and just, you know, um, what I watch. Oh my gosh, the Chris Rock special was so good on Netflix. If you haven't seen it, you should definitely watch it. And I started to use some old stickers I had from the Bay Box, which has been sitting in my little like bucket bin um and really you know it wasn't about not using it it was just it was like i just want to keep it forever and that's no good so um decided to really dig into that and then i don't know a little space theme going on it's it becomes very random um so i did a little task list here now still never baked that cake i should definitely cross that out i never baked that cake i never did the icing i just i don't know we had so many sweets and treats it didn't matter um <laughs> i did a, a reading marathon this day and it was awesome. Like, I finished My Sister's Big Fat Wedding. It was an okay book. Um, I think I gave it like four stars. Making a Scene by Constance Wu, four stars. Really good book. Um, uh, Janet McCurdy's book, you know, I'm Glad My Mom Died. That was extremely difficult to finish. I finished it much later on, but that was a very difficult book to read. Um, very heartbreaking. Um, what else? What else? Serena Val. Oh, quite. I've never. I didn't finish those ones. But yeah. And then this is really my layout. I I love the sh shows I watch, and then just some stuff, and then just some deco. So I wrote sort of the things that I had to do. I got my Cleo Denai skull mates. I finally got her. She's so gorgeous. I actually have her right here, and. Um, I finally got the doll. It was so difficult to find. It was on Amazon, but it was like a mystery box. And it's like, why is it a mystery box? We know it's her on the cover. <laughs> so I got her. I love her. She sits on my desk. And big Cleo Denial fan. Over here, again, just using some of that stuff that I had. And yeah, I really like this one. Very purple, dark. Um, decided to use that treadmill. Don't know what's keeping me back from it. <laughs> Went to Sally's Beauty. Oh my gosh. Mm. Spent like $50 on nail stuff. Um, I love these stickers. I'm going to Miss Planner Mania. I ordered a bunch of her shop stickers like this or Dollarama. So hopefully, you know, I'll be stocked up. These beautiful retro stickers are from uh, Pipstick Stickers. And I got sick. <laughs> it says, Achu. Yes, I definitely got sick. Um, just wasn't really happy these few days. Really upset about some stuff um, about my health and stuff. So I'm fine. It's just, you know, I have some goals in mind. This Fresh Coast sticker, love that. And then these are those stickers, like, check this out. Like, I'm going to zoom in so you can adore it. So, like, the Michaels, the Marshalls, oh, the Walmart. Uh, those are all from Planner Mania. And, um, you know, I know I can, 
use them like draw I know I can draw and make them myself but they're really nice how she makes them so I will miss um, Deidre for a bit hopefully she'll show back up uh, bachelor I've been watching Big Brother Canada and it was it hit me like a ton of bricks I was like what the heck it's like March and the first time of spring and little things just kind of kept creeping on me and I'm like oh it's St. Patrick's Day I had no idea as you can see I didn't really decorate this page at all I put like a shamrock and a green bear for St. Patrick's Day um Saturday just kind of found a new show on Disney Plus. It's called The Wedding Agreement. It's so amazing. Um, it's like a Malaysian show. And I'm not like, I'm not like, uh, what's the word? I'm not trying to be vain. I'm not. I'm not. But like, you know, if you watch some of my other videos, I'm Trinidadian. And one of my things is like, you know, I was trying to figure out like where our family is from. What part of you know, um, Asia, are we from? Are we only from India? Are we from Punjab? And I'm watching these people on the show. And I mean, I couldn't help but be like, oh my gosh, I see a lot of like myself in them. And on my mom's side, when I did 23andMe, they said like there's some type of like, oh, like Pacific Islander or or like Filipino, like there was something and we're not 100% sure. But anyways, I was looking and so it's like, I don't know if my grandfather was Malaysian or what or anyways, it was just really like I'm watching them and I'm like, oh, I can't help but be like, is that where like my mom's side is from? Anyways, so yeah, check out that show, Wedding Agreement, really good. I've been itching to watch the last episode, but I don't want to because mm, I love it so much. Um, other than that, I got these stickers, mi no habla, and, um, which means don't talk to me. Um, what else, what else, what else? Just loving these chunky stickers, and I got these really cool Lisa Frank stickers. My husband bought them for me, uh, the Dollar Tree, and so I've already pulled out pretty much every single sheet, and I've used a lot of them, so I'm really proud of myself. So I've been having a ball using Lisa Frank stickers. You can find them on Amazon, and here's a little truth be told. I wanted one of these, so I went on Amazon. I literally got the same thing that I, my husband bought at the Dollar Tree. I paid like $12. It was $1.25. <laughs> yeah, at the Dollar Tree. So, oh, I have to stop being compulsive, which is why I've been learning, like, I got a budget. <laughs> so anyways, um, what happened here? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I got... An iPad pencil. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Where is my iPad? Okay, here it is. So I got an iPad and let me zoom out. I got an i. I have an iPad. My, my husband bought me this iPad. I think it's the 8. I don't know. iPad generation 8. And I used it and I had a different cover. I had, I've had several different covers. And so... I was like, yeah, you know, I really want to learn to draw. And so I, I, I had no idea about the Apple Pencil at all. Like, I don't understand if, like, if it only works on the Pro, the Apple Pro. And so as I'm watching these budget videos, like Sav's Planner and a few others who are my favorite, uh, I was like, oh my gosh, I can use the Apple Pencil on any Apple product. And I know some of you are probably like, why are you so ignorant? And it's like, because I have like a Samsung phone. I don't have Apple products. And I remember having, I think it was the second or third generation iPad and I paid like $800 and I got it engraved and, you know, I still have it till this day, but I gave it to my parents. So I was like, I really want to do Procreate. And so, yes, I downloaded Procreate and GoodNotes 
and I, I was so excited about this Apple Pencil, so I was going to save for it, but I'm so compulsive. It was only $100 on Amazon, so I bought it on Amazon, and I went to the Apple store, and I was asking the guy some questions because I wanted to, you know, see, and then he's like, oh, you know, you should buy, like, nibs for it or whatever, and I'm like, oh, whatever. It's only $24, but I'll do that another time. So I needed a case. So I got this case on Amazon, which is again, my favorite. I've had a screen protector on it forever. And so I've had to like ghetto cut the sides so it wouldn't lift. And then the sides are lifting. I don't know. I might keep the screen protector on for a bit, but what's cool about this, um, Apple, case and this reminds me of my first apple case is it came with this beautiful white keyboard and what's so stellar is that i don't know if it's going to show up on camera there it is but it lights up and it's so pretty like it's so pretty at nighttime it's a little bit of a rave i can't lie it's a little bit of a rave party at night um but it's very cool. So yeah, I got an Apple Pencil so I can practice Procreate and also I can, um, you know, use a keyboard, <laughs> which is unnecessary, unnecessary. But anyway, so that was that. And da -da -da, got my budget binders. Da -da -da. Oh, okay. And so in my other videos, if you check out my channel, I've been, you know, budget, budgeting. And so I have this Canadian play money and it's legal. Okay. It's a teaching tool. And so I've been using this because I do all my banking online anyway. Like I don't really want to take out cash, but I will for my red pocket challenge. Um, because I'm going to do like a hundred envelope challenge. So I got these at my, you know, local store and I found these and I don't know if Crystal's watching my video who's smally pocket, but well, I, talk about technology. So I like scanned it into Google translate and it says like academic progress or good academic progress. These envelopes are if you're doing really well in school. <laughs> so I just love Jasmine. Mm, just love Jasmine. And I also got these pockets and I have some coming in the mail. They were only like $2. These, these were three. I got 20 of these, 20 of these, but I'm planning to do like a $20, uh, sorry, a 20 envelope challenge, um, in different forms. And then this one says something like peace, um, good luck drive, um, something like that. I forgot, but yeah, so I got those. And that's what my thing was talking about here. And I've made some of these trackers that I downloaded from Etsy. I will do a whole video on that. I've been really crafting. I guess that's why I've been slacking on the, the writing of my daily. And so, yeah, I will share with you guys some of that stuff at another time. Okay, so let's get back to it. And so I got ink for my printer. And again, this is stuff like, it's like, damn, why do I need all this stuff right away? But I definitely needed ink for my printer because I want, I've been, I've been running out of these page flags for TV shows because I do make them myself. There is a shop that makes them. I don't sell anything. So I'm just, you know, and I love that shop. I'm not even going to name drop because I don't want anybody like saying anything. Um, but I love her shop, but I can make them myself. So then, um, I needed ink to make them myself. And then over here, really awkward, and <laughs> How I Met Your Father, and I got my iPad pencil, and then I got some stuff from Sheen, and then I, this Friday the 24th, I was just watching stuff like crazy. I have to fill this out. I think I was watching the news. And um, sometimes if I have a blank flag and I don't remember what I watch, I just write news, um, because I do watch the news in the background when I'm on the treadmill or whatever. Um, and yeah, Planner Mania shop is closing today. I was going to do one more purchase, but then I said to myself, you know what? Have some self-control. I already spent like 130 something dollars at her shop, like chill out. Um, and then I was prepping happy meal for my friends. So Sunny, um, Bianca and uh, Crystal. Crystal I saw in person, so that was awesome. 
And then over here, so after reading Jeanette McCarty's book, I was like, I have to check out this iCarly show that she was on. Like I knew about it and I have, I've had students who watched it or whatever, but it never really, you know, captured me like, you know, That's So Raven or Raven's Home. And I'm a big Disney watcher. Like you're never too old to watch this stuff. So I was watching the iCarly. Oh my gosh. It was just, oh, it was just so annoyingly like oh it was just so annoying it was just so annoying to watch and so I skipped over I think after two episodes in season one I skipped over to season four or the last season it was a little bit more tolerable and then I was like I don't think I can watch any of this because her book talks about her life on the show and it was just so heartbreaking to see her looking a, a particular way and I don't want to give out any spoilers but I will just say, like, you know, she had basically an eating disorder and a very controlling mother. And so I just wanted to, like, see her mannerisms on the show. Like, was there any warnings? And she's such a great actress. So I started to watch Sam and Cat, which is so much better with Ariana Grande. And another spoiler, Jeanette McCurdy and Ariana Grande are not cool, even though they, they like start on the show so again it was just very it was just me digging it was just me digging <laughs> so anyways that was that um I got a unicorn snow globe at the thrift store oh look at this this is why you can't take me anywhere I just find all these knickknacks and it came with batteries and it lights up and oh this is why I needed to chill out with the the shopping and, and budget myself so anyways um Da, 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 da. basically just some like icons to share like what I did through the day and um yeah a lot of blue theme this was really cute and I made grilled cheese so yummy and this day this Tuesday the 28th <laughs> okay guys I can cook but I'm not very good at cooking like like my family cooking, like when I, when I, like how I grew up, like West Indian food. So I was like, okay, in the next few weeks, I'm going to come see my parents and they're going to teach me how to cook certain things. So I came over, um, on a Tuesday and my dad showed me how to cook stew chicken, rice, red beans and a macaroni pie and I made my notes and stuff and I think he really appreciated it so I wrote like chef candy at home so I went to my parents house and that was just super fun and so this week I think Wednesday I'm heading over and I'm gonna going to learn to make curry chicken boneless because me and bones don't mix and um dal and rice so that's I'm learning to cook West Indian food, and my husband is really into it, so I'm trying to be better, do better, and also it's kind of nice to have, like, a nice warm home meal on a Sunday instead of, you know, Wendy's, so there you go. Um, what else happened? On Wednesday, I, da 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 da, da oh, I was packing Happy Meal for my friends, cleaning, relaxing, I love my coach purses. You guys, I am obsessed with a particular size. I'll post some pictures. This is my jam. So, of course, I had to get it in every single freaking color. And so that's that. And then on Thursday the 30th, I saw my friend, Smally Pocket Crystal. And we checked out Zellers at a local mall around us. And it was super fun. I'm supposed to make Cineplex odeon stickers which is our theater here because by the way i think it was tuesday yeah it was tuesday we watched shazam 2 which was so good and again i've just been so obsessed with like budgeting and having a budget binder and stuff like that that i haven't been writing in my my daily so um i've been watching a ton of videos about like Canadian girls stuffing their envelopes and it's really motivating me to uh, save money and so over here which was Friday which was yesterday I was on Canva I was making a red pocket challenge let me show you guys um, and this is just 
you know i don't have an etsy shop i mean i did but i mean i know it's gonna sound really bad but i just couldn't handle like i just couldn't do the whole what do you call it i just couldn't do the whole like etsy fees and stuff i don't know it's just not not me so here is my uh 100 envelope challenge that i'm gonna do by using like uh, red pockets and so that's this and I have some other challenges that I want to do so I'm super stoked about it but yes that is the plan for this and what else that's basically my March. So here is a sneak peek of April. All of these stickers are Happy Planner stickers. And these are from the dollar store. These beautiful holographic bonbon stickers. This is some OG lace washi from eBay. And then this washi up here with the cupcakes and the bunnies are from the dollar store years ago. So I've just been digging into my stash. Nothing is new. That's what I'm all about right now. And then here's a sneak peek of some of setting up my pages. At the top, I haven't done, but what I do is I take some like white tape and I cover this and then I go in with a, um, a date like washi header. And I'm trying to find my my book but i can't really seem to find it i just had it i totally saw it it was like in my life just now oh it's right here oh so i grab like my sticker book and i'm just going to get some of those neat like monthly sorry days of the week sorry i'm all over the place days of the week stickers so like this was this is a saturday and so i want something Maybe I'll do this like purple one. And so I just grab that. These are like perforated. And then I will find the number one sticker and I will add it to the, the mix. Oh, totally ruined that. And I have to take that off. That's bugging me. So that's what I normally do. I'm probably going to do that right now once I... Uh, stop this video because what I like to do is I like to cover these up and you're probably like why don't you do it while you're with us uh I also do the weather on this side so yeah sometimes it gets a little you know anyways that's basically it <laughs> that's basically it so I hope you enjoy this flip of my march in my 2023 Hobonichi cousin. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for coming by. I hope this inspired you to just kind of make it your own and enjoy your stickers. And yeah, happy planning, happy stickering, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!